Hi this is Dr. Madhav Dantala. I'm a consultant hematology oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician at Yashoda Hospitals Somajigoda Hyderabad. Today I'll be discussing a very interesting topic dengue induced HLH or hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. Now dengue fever has become fairly common with several outbreaks over the past decade and a majority of patients it's a self limited illness and they do well with just supportive care well recognized complications of dengue fever include dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome however this past year in yashoda we've had several patients who've come to us with a lot of complications and we've arrived at a diagnosis of dengue induced secondary hlh symptoms of hlh include a persistent fever hepatosplenomegaly that is an increased in the size of the liver or, or the spleen and some biochemical changes such as an increased ferritin level a raised ldh high triglycerides low plasma fibrinogen and a bone marrow aspirate with changes of hemophagocytosis it is important to recognize this entity fairly early in the clinical course because it is potentially life threatening treatment includes initiating immunomodulatory therapy that includes steroids atorvastatin ruxolitinib or ivig it is easy to miss this condition if the clinician focuses on the underlying infection rather than the overwhelming immune response we find a lot of resistance amongst physicians for starting steroids for fear of flare of an underlying secondary infection when a patient has dengue fever we have identified several such patients this past year and timely treatment has saved a lot of them thank you